woman in the backyard or something. All sliced up. Sliced and diced. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Intel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch the brand new season of Atlanta. I am here with the beautiful Michael Clark. You can find me in the air. Hey, you see it. You see how it's going down. <laughs> Yo, this has been something we have been waiting for for a very long time. It took a really long hiatus, but it's definitely a project that deserves to be represented on this channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hey, give us those thumbs up. That's how the algorithm knows you're digging what we're giving you. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> The anticipation. Oh, welcome back. It's been so long. The Man. camera slowly pans to the no, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Scene, it's dark at night, crickets are chirping. <laughs> I almost drowned in it once when I was like eight. Shit, Actually, right over there by the beach. My cousin had to drag me out. I don't know what it was, man. I just feel like I was being pulled. It's the spirits of Lake Lanier. It's actually history. Probably was. Yeah. By what? It's a whole town underneath us. Oh, yo! I was just talking Nobody about that. Man. Yeah, Lake Lanier. That's what I'm saying? Yeah, it's for real. It's a real thing. Houses, barns, roads. There's a whole raceway down there. The whole state race. government built a dam and flooded the place. And when it didn't leave, drowned. That was black, dude. Yeah, that's real. What? <laughs> he said what? There are black people under us right now? <laughs> yeah, why you think so many people die around here every year? And why are we out here now? Because of drunk rednecks trying to fish at night. <laughs> like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I'm really shocked that they're addressing it. This way you are. Armenians are white as hell. So they... Is he drinking? <laughs> no, but it's Armenians. It's, it's got a high alcohol content, whatever it is. But you can't hear them. You can't even hear yourself saying, We're cursed too. Is he gonna turn and be something crazy? Oh! We're cursed too. Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, not a dream I would like to have. Huh. Um, I don't want to keep wasn't expecting that as a start to Atlanta. For the Change Atlanta initiative. So, next Thursday, we're all going on a field trip. We're all going to go watch a movie. The new Black Panther 2. What? I know, okay. I know, it's exciting. Oh, oh. oh. Hey, remember what I mean? Oh. Remember what I mean? I can't celebrate Black Panther. Not on top of the desk. I don't mind a dance though. He could have done a little, you know. Well, yes, he's he's had detention before, several times. But I, I had a thought. Maybe the reason that he's being disruptive in class is because the material's too challenging. If we put him in remedial math and language arts, he could have the wait. Oh, my son is not dumb. Oh no, no, he's I an idiot. Y'all ridiculous. He is not the first kid to act up in class, and you want to push him back some grades? No, I just thought Don't it could be Don't you move my son. Tell his teachers to give him detention. Thank you for coming. I'm mad the guidance counselor cut off the principal, though. I'm still a little shook by that. Mm. What's your problem? Now get to class, and I better not get another call from this school. I'll walk him back. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of there. Oh! Get you out of there. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Mom, there ain't no more milk. There's spaghetti in the refrigerator if you hungry. <laughs> These guys are the ice on the so yeah, yeah, doesn't overheat. <laughs>
Oh no. Oh, oh no, CPS. Here, take this boy yeah. for a killing. Then he got a real reason Jeez. to call the police. Run uh, away! Dang. Oh my gosh, I can't. Group home. Crazy. Wow. Foster parents. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh. Oh no. She looks like the kind to keep you under the stairs somewhere. <laughs> How much for doing this? Oh my gosh, she's gonna keep him under the stairs and feed him bland food. Oh, Yo, did horrible. somebody try and kick the door again? All right, well, let's get that. you settled. I. Amber, but you can call me mom. Um, oh, those are your new brothers and sisters. She said you could call me mom. Mud. Mom. And we pick all our own veggies using our organic oh, garden. Why the house look crazy? Um, we're selling it at the farmer's market tomorrow. You're going to love it. Oh, not. oh um, and that is your other mom, and that little guy is Corn Pop. Welcome oh. to the family. Oh, oh, what is happening? The confusion for the poor kid. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Capers it is. <laughs> oh, will you get me that chicken mm. over there? Mm. The f <laughs> I don't know what, I can't. I'm so <laughs> confused. I'm so uncomfortable. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, was a little she put it in the microwave? She is. She is. Mm -hmm. And she didn't wash it. <laughs> she didn't wash the chicken offers. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. I'm so uncomfortable for so many different reasons. I feel like I'm about to crawl out of my skin. She, the way he was looking at her, like. I feel like I'm about to cra literally crawl out of my skin. I want to hear what the other kids got to say. I do too. This says Larry. Oh, well, I didn't know how to spell Alu Quaria, so I figured we'd call you Larry. No. Larry's a great nickname. Did she just Toby him? Of course she did. Um, where's the washcloth? Ah, you see what kiss? Oh, we need to take a picture. I'm so uncomfortable. She's like, get to town. Okay. Wow. Perfect. You Toby now. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Look how he's coming to dinner. They're not, they're not gonna like this. Pajamas? You can wear that tonight, but from now on I'll lay your clothes out. Look at the chicken! Look at the chicken! Oh god, is that even cooked? No. You can sprinkle some rosemary on it if you want. Mm-mm. Mm, that's great. Oh! Mm. Oh! An avocado with capers. That's just dinner. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. What is happening? I'm uncomfortable. <clears throat> Poor little guy's like, why? I want a hamburger. We don't have hamburgers. That's what the dog is eating? <gasps> well, yeah, that's Corn Pop's food. You don't, oh, okay, you don't want to eat. You can go to bed. It's six o'clock, okay? Man, I hate this house. <laughs> We don't use the word hate in this house. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yo, it's six o'clock. <laughs> <Woo. Dang. laughs> mm -mm. I hope they come to present time. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I need them to go ahead and- Get on the wheelbarrow. We didn't eat lunch. You had celery and carrots, remember? I'm still hungry. You're supposed to be hungry. If you're full, that means you ate too much. Huh? I am disgusted right now. How much long do we have to do this? Why don't you try singing a song while you work? It might make you wow. feel better. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm so uncomfortable. I can't. Okay. Back to work, Larry. Wow. All I'm hearing is Toby. I'm so... I can't. I... Wow. Oh was... <laughs> Free hugs is what his says. Free mm. hugs. Larry, can you put some effort in? Shake your booty. Come on. Oh, This hugs your father? No. I can't. 
see it right now. That's I can't just... either. I I think he's just tired is all. He said he wanted to go home. Maybe he thought I'd arrest you for not letting him play PlayStation. <laughs> uh, well, all four of our children are black, so we always make sure to tell them that the police are their friends. Yeah. I can't. I'm, I... Aloe black. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Come on. Know who Aloe black is. Know that right? Freedom hugs, He's yo. They the turned it around. The dumb is in. In oh, here. My baby is coughing. Hello, how darling. Thing is. Are you feeling okay? No. Um. What oh. is this? Is oh, that? No. She coughing up blood? She is. <sighs> Don't eat that. Oh! He's hungry though, I mean, he's hungry. His stomach about to be tore up. He's gonna see that woman in the backyard or something, all sliced up. Sliced oh. and diced. Oh! Oh, oh he's oh. dreaming that. Oh! <laughs> oh, the creepiness was behind him. Did that white man with no eyes? Oh! Yeah, I know your stomach has got to be jacked up. Oh! Oh! Yeah, salmonella much? Ugh. They really got just like some African art. I see, I saw some in the bathroom too. Amber? Oh, hey, Larry. Well, we're going to the Grand Canyon. You should get dressed. Grand Canyon? Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's where we're going to bury the body. The Grand Canyon from Atlanta? Like, don't they have school? Is it summertime? Okay, let's go, guys. What do they have in the Oh, dude, just run. Run like the Dickens. Oh, there's the trash bags. There's the clipboard of the lady. Come on, let's go. Run to the neighbor's house. Run, just go, man. Oh, no. I can't. Is it almost over? <laughs> I can't. It's traumatizing. <laughs> just the look. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Map of a park or something? You know how yeah, they have like the it is. national parks? Whatever it is, it's cold. Oh, no, they're bare. Oh, that's the dog. Okay, oh. corn pop. Go be free. What? Corn pop don't know how to be free. <laughs> corn pop about to get ate up by an owl. <laughs> or a coyote. Why didn't anyone stop us, kill? I want the van to like come speeding backwards and run them over. <laughs> They'd survive like Jason and Freddie yeah, just shake like, it off and... What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's about to drive. Is it going to be them too? They're going in there too? Into the river? I don't know what the hell is going on. Lake Lanier? I don't know what's happening. They're just stealing kids is all I know. I think the kids jumped out. And then now they're driving themselves off into the river. Or something. I think the I think I think you're right. I think the kids are gone, but yeah. something did move in the back of that car. Yeah, but I think they put like a raccoon in there or something, a squirrel, something. They're taking them home to their town, their previous town, their ancestors. Yeah. They have some old spiritual get back. They're gonna drive it together. They're gonna. They're about to Thelma yeah, and Louise this, they aren't they? Are. They really are about to film in Louise's. They're hardly holding hands like they did in the. Oh. They're, they're in love and they're saving the children. That's crazy. They're, they're trying to save the dog. Oh, he's like, animal! <laughs> the he has them somewhere, right? He yeah, he probably stashed them. Now run because they can swim. I don't know. I yeah, cause run. I. 
I think they'd be like Jason. That's and, what I'm saying. They come back with seaweed, come back. swap monsters, swap thing. <laughs> Take care of our dog. Yeah, no. Corn Pop can swim, though. Wow. Larry, run. His name isn't even Larry. His name is La Laquavius. Laquavius. Oh, something's coming. Something's coming back. You know no, I think is. they might have gotten away. Maybe. Nah. Will I be a boy? Head home, public service announcement. Listen to your mama. <laughs> like a fool once oh, more. Tents aren't dirty anymore on the bottom. And do silly things. Now, what did we learn? That's what you. That's your favorite saying. Now, what oh. did we learn? Things like raw chicken's bad for you. Oh. A little bit. Don't fry chicken Just in the microwave. <laughs> Look, he doing dishes? Yo. <laughs> he was like, let me clean this whole kitchen. No. Uh, <laughs> you don't listen now, huh? Wait, Mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, baby. Yeah. You right. Some spaghetti in there? Yes, yeah, spaghetti in there. For what you have. Ooh, it's all about perspective and gratitude. Perspective. Gratitude and perspective. Oh, they did find them. Yeah, we knew. Apparently abandoned after their adoptive parents. So I'll walk into the. I bet that spaghetti never tasted that good before ever in his entire life. Doing silly things like crying. Look, in the mama folded clothes, washing clothes, you got clean clothes. Yes, Doesn't have it's all nasty fucking to go. pickles. Dog kombucha. hair all over the yeah. place. Cause it's time Washcloth. To go. Yes, it's Please let this be reality. Don't let him like wake up and still be in the people's house or something. I will be traumatized for the rest of the day. See? See, look. I can't. I can't right now. Oh. oh. What a dream. What a way that to bring scary. in the central character. That scared me. That's nuts. Oh, no. Is he? Uh-uh. Who's in that bed with him? Is this what you think? I thought so. Wow. Yo, it's, it's something about this show and its ability to constantly surprise you. Constantly. It's some of the more interesting storytelling uh, that we've seen it in quite some time. It's we just had an entire show that was based on a dream to bring in the main character, but there's a lot to be interpreted within this dream. Um, I know you seem like you're still a little scarred. Yeah, give me a little, give me a second. Me <laughs> Wait a minute here. Uh -uh. Yo, I mean, hey, I I really am traumatized. Like my stomach's all in knots. Yeah. I don't feel good. I feel <sighs> like I just ate that chicken. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it even starts off with a little bit of backstory and history uh, regarding uh, the town that was flooded on purpose and, mm -hmm. people, and, and the people that actually died as a result of it. Mm -hmm. That's a really true story. And I know I said it earlier and they actually like talked about it, but then that segued way into the dream of the kid mm -hmm. um, with Black Panther 2, which mm -hmm. hasn't even come out yet. Mm -hmm. So that should have been like the first context for us to be like something maybe a little bit off. Uh, the kid doing the dance because there was the the meme with the kid dancing when he found out that the class was going to go see Black Panther, mm -hmm. and then it just really spirals off the path. <laughs> yeah. All I kept playing in my head is "This is America." Ah. Like literally, that just kept playing over and over in my head. You know, when she was like, "Me, why don't you sing us a song while Yo, you?" Yo, the song. Why don't you sing us a why Negro don't you spiritual sing us a song? <laughs> I fed you something. A, I fed you a carrot and celery. If you're, if you're full, that means, you know, you ate too much. I was oh, like... Oh, the chicken. I can't with the chicken. Yo, the funny part to me, there's a lot of funny parts, right? That's just, you know, it, it's funny to us. So, and the one... <laughs> 
<laughs> he walks in the house and he's like, what's, what's that smell? <laughs> kombucha? What did she say? African doo-doo? What did she say? Yeah, she was like, it was something like... But it's not what you think. It's not yes, what you it think. Yes, it is. You're taking these children's doo-doo and making some candy or have, something. Oh, I man. just... That chicken, they didn't wash the chicken. She literally put that raw chicken in a flour bag and put it in the microwave. Oh, God. Oh. And then put some capers on some avocado. I don't even... Mm -mm. I can't. It makes my stomach turn just That's even thinking about saying. it. That's what I'm saying. My stomach is upset for oh. so many different reasons. <laughs> The washcloth thing too, because that was, that's funny because you know, a lot of these, like some of these stuff has been brought up on like in social media and Twitter and stuff like that, mm -hmm. where they'll like, you know, they'll be like, what do you mean? Like, you know, you don't use a washcloth. Wash what do you mean you don't wash your chicken off before you bake it? Yo, and like, and I love how like, how pointy it was at the end uh, d regarding the, uh, the the washcloth. He was like, well, you know, even to wash my butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she didn't even say that you have a reply for that. Yeah. And I remembered those, those threads when you know people were looking at us like we were crazy mm -hmm. for like, yeah, of course we use a washcloth, you know? It's just. <laughs> so I get it, yeah, I get it. It's just, but it's, it was so disturbing. Like, yeah. I mean, but you're right though. I didn't even, I did notice the chicken and I did mm -hmm. notice the washcloth and some other things, but, and the dog, the like dog. They, how they treated the dog. Yo, they was versus, gonna save the dog. Yeah, they, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, so we, we're releasing <laughs> them into the wild because we already know what's gonna happen to them. We're, we're, we're like, all we would be doing is prolonging the inevitable. Bruh, it's so much. It's so much. The Thelma Louise in it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna walk hand in hand and just leap off. Kill, kill everybody. Yeah, and then like, cause like, I think at Thelma and Louise, like they kill themselves at the Grand Canyon. I think, yeah, I think that's did. how it does. They did. So, you know, we did get a little bit of that reference too before they even got there. Yes. Um, yo, the African art on the wall. <laughs> there was art in the bathroom. There was art on the wall. Just they, wait, the towel, the Larry. Yeah, oh my God, the yo, Larry. your name. They, she changed his name. She was like, we weren't really she sure. She told me to. Spell. We didn't know how to spell, and then they killed the, the social worker. Oh, the gas! They Threw in the a bag. Gas worker. <laughs> no, and even like, it's so, it's so crazy because okay, so for us, of course, we're gonna see it a lot differently. Um, than people that, that, that aren't black, right? So you had a really visceral moment, right? When uh, when the guidance counselor was uh, over talking the teacher. No, yes. no, the teacher yes. was over talking the, the guidance principal. counselor. It was the principal. Yes. It was the principal. the principal. That's what it was. Um, and, and I totally felt where you were coming from because I'm like, yo, she just thinks she just has the right to just talk over somebody yes. however she feels and yes. then be like, I think your kid needs some remedial class. And it's like, yes. what? No. And then she called DPS. She called John Family yes. Services. Because and she's like, I'm going to try and save you. Because got discipline. It, you know what I mean? Yo. And then you expect the behavior to stop without any sort of discipline. Yo. But you just, you think you know what's best. And I just was like. At every level, it's mm. that whole, I'm trying to save you. But yeah, I'm not. The savior. It's, it's the, just, it's it's the, the savior. savior complex. Oh, man. It's so frustrating. But. Wow, what what a way to, what, to the what, perspective. What do you think about the fact that they had the two the two the women instead of like you know a man and a woman? What do you, well, you I mean, it's the that? sign of the time. It's the sign of the times. But do uh, you think that, that there was any like any reasoning behind that? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, no, none none of this was done yeah. without without cause. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, because there is a very um, <laughs> there's a group of people that think that they're helping and may not necessarily be helping, pushing yes. their cause yes. uh, ahead of other people. Yes. Um, and then, you know, we get these two white ladies, these two white women who are living together, who think that they're doing the Lord's work. And honestly, they're probably doing it for their own selfish ambitions oh, because she said, oh. yo, we did this for the money. money, the money ran Brad out. Money, the they're loan. doing it for cloud chasing, doing it for props. You know, they're over there taking pictures of their trash food and being social media, you know, we, we care and all of that. And that just really happens. You know, some people call it a, a liberal agenda or whatever it is. To, I, I don't know if I necessarily call it a liberal agenda. I just call it as white folks don't know what they're doing. Or they don't necessarily know what they're talking about uh, regarding a culture they know nothing about. Well, and, yeah, the whole si Oh, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and also, and also uh, pushing their own agenda while pretending to care about other people's, uh, other people's problems. Um, so, yeah, I think all of that was done on purpose. 
Well, and the thing is too, they felt like they were they were giving them a better life yeah. than what they were living. When right. in all reality, they were not not even close. Those kids right. weren't going to school. They had no. a, they didn't have clean clothes. Mm-mm. They barely had any food, Mm-mm. and they still thought that that was better yeah. than where they came from. Yes. When it was completely the opposite, right. which was so infuriating to me. Yep. Even I can't. I gotta go back to the guidance counselor. Yeah. I I just. I hate when people think they know a situation being mm. on the outside. Yeah. She didn't ask any questions. Nope. She didn't get any perspective. Nope. She didn't talk to the child. Mm-hmm. She just made her own assumption. Yeah. And then it took off in a whole wrong mm. direction. You know what I love too is, is in the brilliance of the writing of just Donald Glover and just, you know, just taking a real uh, honest look at just <laughs> how things are. Mm-hmm. And there is this perception of the angry black woman, the angry black mom, right? Mm-hmm. And I loved how artistically they try to make that happen, right? And you see her, she's upset, you know, don't be calling me down here for my work over this, you know, just put him in detention, this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. And there's a there there are moments and spaces where I could see people being like, oh, why does it seem like she doesn't care or whatever it is? Uh, why is she fed up? They're probably asking a bunch of questions about this woman's character, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's what's what's crazy is that that is a lot of the narrative a lot of times. You know, it's just this angry, pissed off, mad black woman who doesn't necessarily love her kid as much as she does. And then they even added in um, uh, the, the grandfather, mm-hmm. old old school dude. Uh, you know, three smacks across the face. Like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Just, you know, shape up. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't do that nowadays without there being like some kind of problem. You know, how you raise your kids is how you raise your kids. But uh, there are a lot of us that grew up in a way that today would be frowned upon. And that, that was kind of shown. Then there was also uh, what they touched on and some people feel a certain kind of way. Then there's the moment when the mom is making the kid dance. And she's mm-hmm. like, and, and she's like, you know, you over here trying to dance for these white folks, why don't you dance now? And then she's like scolding them and, and telling them like, these white folks are gonna kill you. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna act a damn fool. I'm sure that's gonna rub a lot of people the wrong way because you know, you see on a lot of social media, you see that happening. You know, kids having to dance for their food or weird haircuts and like this weird, um, uncomfortable ways of embarrassing your children in order to teach the lesson. I, I'm not I'm not speaking on behalf of being right or wrong, but I'm glad that they brought it up in that in that whole beginning of recognizing who his original parents are, his real parents are. So you you're forced with this thought in your idea, like, man, these are terrible, horrible parents. I didn't think that, but I understand what you're saying. That's right. The, well, but I think I think they might have been trying to force that, that narrative. Mm-hmm. But then when you get pushed into a world, you get taken out of your world and thrown into another world where people are just trying to exploit you, don't understand you, have no connection to you whatsoever, and you see what happens as a result of that, Mm -hmm. then you go back and you realize this person is where they were supposed to be um, uh, from the word go, regardless of how you feel about how that house is run. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, and I mean, it's just, it's all a perspective thing. It's all a, it's all a background thing. It's all an experience thing. It's all a, a culture thing. Like, I think, if you don't take the time to understand and a lot of stuff you won't understand unless you're in that culture right Right, like you won't understand the mom making him do the dance you won't understand the fact that i'm mad that you've called me every single time to come up here for something so small as that when all you have to do or all that's in your rules and your policies is Mm -hmm. to give him detention but no you make us come down here and talk about remedial classes Mm -hmm. without you know and this isn't the same thing you would do with johnny yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I understand the anger, yeah. and the anger isn't necessarily directed at the child. No, it's the whole situation. Exactly. It, it is angry at the child yes. because the cat child is acting up. Exactly. Angry at the principal because you got me here on this BS that yes. you that had to have an easy that could have an easy fix. Yes. Angry at the teacher for having the audacity to to imply that I don't know how to raise my own child. Yes. Uh, and then and then try to put him in remedial classes yes. because you don't want to deal with the fact that you don't want to deal with the fact that he might be doing all this because he's bored right. not because he's not able to do the work yes he is excited they flipped it yeah. <laughs> they flipped it a lot of times the kids are bored because they don't because they're not being challenged enough exactly you know that so that pissed me off yeah and then they turned all of that into what you know what jordan peele has done so successfully in creating like these black horror, horror stories mm-hmm. of that that's based on like you know cultural differences it's just the brilliance of, of donald glover kind of like giving that, that bit of a hat tip to that genre um and then like all of that being compressed into one thought and that is that is what our central character of atlanta in general 
is having to deal with maybe maybe it comes with identity uh, what are you doing are you selling out are you being a person that you're supposed to be completely you're you're a foreign person in a foreign land and then he wakes up and he's laying next to what we presume is a white woman yeah, um I didn't like that. you know so the, it, it just adds and brings some interesting questions uh, regarding the morality of all this, you know, that's that's up to you. I'm sure people are going to feel some kind of way regarding oh, all of it. Yeah, but, that, I mean, but, but that's the purpose of, of why I think it's made. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing. And, and um, I want to preface like every conversation that you and I have mm -hmm. with everything that is shown. Everyone is going to have their own opinion oh, yeah. about um, our opinions are our opinions. Mm -hmm. um, from our understanding and our experience, right? Yeah, yeah. And everybody, like I said, is gonna have their own understanding, which is the great thing about art, because everybody has their own interpretation yeah. of what happened, what's mm -hmm. happening, you know. And so I, I just think in that regard it's it is rather brilliant. Yeah. Hey, well, I mean, Atlanta did not disappoint with causing thought provoking ideas stop provoking imagery nerves um, in my stomach yeah i mean it, that's that's why this show is is as good as it is because it hits you from an angle and a perspective that you may not have seen coming right and it starts it starts you know uh, an interesting debate um oh please let us know i'm sure it's gonna be really interested in the comments um hey everybody play nice <laughs> please play nice for please, the culture please play nice. Play yeah. nice. hey um thank you donald glover hey this is I'm sorry I'm over here discombobulated. I'm, so yeah, I'm still processing everything. I'm still uncomfortable. Oh, the chicken was crazy. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey what's up? It's, it's <laughs> tell me, tell me with the beautiful Michael Claire. I don't know if I'm here still. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much for... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for, for being a part of the channel. Uh, hit the subscription button, give us those Ooh. thumbs up. That's how the algorithm knows you're giving what we're giving. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do an episode two. Ooh. We'll catch you on that one. Bye. Peace out.